So who is Christie & Co? We're an international firm of business valuation and sales specialists. We deal across healthcare sectors and in the dentistry sector we have 35 personnel, agents and chartered surveyors uh, selling and valuing dental practices for a range of owners. Um, during the course of the year we will formally value uh, approximately 450 practices for loan security purposes. We're RICS accredited, which is our GDC, our regulator, and that ensures that the advice that we give to clients is both up to the minute and absolutely accurate. So in terms of the dental practice sales market, uh, so far in 2017, it's been really strong, uh, some really good activity out there. We estimate there are approximately 500 dental practices selling each year. Um, and there are a variety of buyer types uh, looking for all types of practices across the price ranges. Banks are keen to lend because they view the sector as low risk um, and generally the market's uh, very strong. So in terms of who's actually buying dental practices at the moment, buyer types broadly fall into three categories. The corporates who are looking to expand portfolios, multiple operators who have typically between five and 25 practices who are looking to grow, um, and independents uh, who can be first-time buyer associates looking to get their foot on the first rung of the practice ownership ladder. So for anybody thinking of uh, exiting their dental practice and, and selling on the open market, preparation is absolutely fundamental. Um, so consulting with your professional advisors, the agent that you're proposing to sell the practice for you, uh, your accountant and your solicitor, making sure that the operational, uh, the financial and the legal aspects of the practice are properly positioned uh, for sale will ensure that the period of time that it takes to sell is as short as possible. And once you're ready to go, uh, there's plenty of demand out there, so it, it should not take that long to go from launching the practice for sale to getting offers in and heads of terms agreed. Uh, heads of terms is uh, the broad base of the agreement to sell and then the legal process kicks in. So um, different types of practice take different lengths of time to sell so anything with an NHS contract broadly uh, is longer than a private that could be between six to nine months to sell from launch to completion. Um, a private practice because there's no L NHS element to it is generally a lot quicker um, and can normally be sold within a period of three to six months depending on where it is and what it is. But um, preparation of, uh, of information is, is absolutely key to ensuring a successful outcome.